Hey guys, so heads up, this is the last vlog that's going to be happening for a while because on June 14th, which will be next Friday, we are going to start doing the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge round two. So on Sundays, instead of having these vlogs, we're just going to have episodes of the 100 Days, which will basically be like these vlogs. Except Bones will also talk about writing, and I'll talk about art still. So, sorry if you really like these vlogs. They'll probably be coming back once we're done, so don't worry. Um, yeah, so I've already talked about the 100 Days stuff, um, but basically I really want to get 9 point done, and the pace I'm going at right now is very slow, um, and hopefully the 100 Days will get me working on it more, and then we'll finally get to put out issue number two. And then maybe I can do vlogs about issue number three. I don't know. Who knows? It's gonna, That's going to be like three months from now, so we'll see what we decide at the end. So make sure to subscribe if you want to get notifications when those episodes come out, because we're going to be covering, like, everything you need to know about comics. Bones is going to be talking about how to write a comic, and then how to edit, and eventually how to get it into made into art and how to promote. I'm going to be talking about, you know, thumbnailing and pencils, and I'll actually get to talk about coloring comics because Nine Point will be in color, and I'll probably finally be able to touch on that during those videos when I actually start coloring things. So I'm a little sad that I, like, probably won't be able to talk about coloring your comic on these vlogs, because that's what I intended to do when we started these things. But what can you do? I, I wasn't fast enough. We really want to work on this. So whatever, I'll get to talk about it in the 100 days. So I'll still get to show it to you guys. Speaking of color, <laughs> um, I'm actually working on figuring out color palettes for the cover of issue number two for Nine Point. So that's what I'm doing in this video today is just trying out different color palettes on my little thumbnail sketch that I have there. So I, I designed this cover last weekend when we were at uh, Forest City Comic Con because um, we had some downtime and I was just, I had a little sketchbook and I was just drawing out ideas um, and then I redid them yesterday on the live stream and now I'm, I'm picking out colors. Um, so we kind of wanted to get this cover done. I was initially thinking of leaving it till the end um, but we are kind of planning to do the Kickstarter for issue number two soon. So in order to do that, we need the cover to kind of advertise for things. Um, so I'm trying to get it done right now. So we wanted it to be very different from the cover of if you, issue number one, if you've seen it. Um, if you haven't, there should be a link in our description to our store and it should be in there if you want to take a look at it. Yeah, we wanted the color scheme to be different so that if, uh, someone is looking at our store or walking by our table at a convention, they can look at it and be like, oh, this is a different book. Because <laughs> that was kind of a problem we had with Pretty Mouth. For issue number one and issue number two, I, the color schemes were very similar. And I think for someone who, like, they haven't seen our books since the last time they came to that convention, so like a year earlier, they're like, is this book two or is this the same book? What's going on? So we, yeah, we want it to be very different because um, we've had issue number one of Nine Point for a couple years now and we want to show people, hey, new Nine Point book, come look at it. Because we've had Lots of people come up this year who uh, we met at shows last year who were like, oh, do you have issue number two? This was cool. And I'm like, I'm sorry, we don't have it yet. <laughs> so yeah, so we just want to signify new book. Um, and then with the more issues and volumes we put out, we're going to be able to have lots of different color schemes and designs, which will make it a lot easier because there's going to be a lot of issues that I have to design, so gotta give myself wiggle room to be really creative and try different things. So yeah, I, with anything like this, so with like designing a cover or designing characters or, I don't know, merch, I like to do several different design options. Um, part of it is like for me to just kind of see like, what are the different possibilities? Because usually my first idea isn't always my best idea. And it also helps working with bones that I can just sit down and show him, here are several different options. What's your favorite? Yeah, and then it, ju it just makes decision making a little easier when you can kind of see everything. <laughs> if there is something that we need to make changes with, 
it gives us more options to say like, I like the pink on this one, but I don't like the blue on it. So how about we use this green instead that you used over here? Because yeah, it just gives you more options to see. Uh, you can pick and choose what you like from them. You know, you can see what you did wrong instead of having to only like imagine where it could go. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's very likely that when I show these to Bones, he's going to say, like, try something else, which is fine. That's, like, how all our design work goes. Um, but yeah, but these are just a few options for him to look at, and I'm fully prepared to do more color work on these, um, though sometimes I'm very surprised, and one of my initial ideas works out. I don't know. Right now, I'm too close to these to really make a decision on them. Like, there's definitely, like, different color options here that I'm kind of leaning toward, but... I can't really clearly tell right the second because I did just work on these and I find like in order to pick my favorite I need to take a step back and look at it with fresh eyes at another time. So yeah, once we've picked out a color scheme here, uh, looking at these, I'm, I'm like, oh, I hope these aren't too close to the first one because the first one has like blue and greenish blue and red as the main colors and a bit of orange. So I'm hoping none of these are too close. Anyways, once we've picked all this stuff out, I can take it and make the image a lot more detailed, like pencil it out um, a lot better, and then I can start coloring it and do some re rendering and all that good stuff and add the typography on it. Um, and yeah, and we'll see where it goes. Uh, the characters on this are Princess Lace. Um, who I've designed previously on, on these vlogs, um, and a mystery character who's silhouetted in the background. Um, this is actually from a scene that I have not filmed at all because it's a secret, but it's definitely one of my favorite scenes in the issue, and I'm really excited to work more on this cover. Um, I really like the, the setting for it. It's very cool. It's very aesthetic. So yeah, I'm very excited to get issue two done. <laughs> We've been calling um, the 100 days, like, 100 days of making nine point. Because <laughs> um, yeah, really, really want to focus on getting it done. There's a few other things I'm working on for the Kickstarter. We're working on an enamel pin of a calico. Uh, I think it was the footage that we used for Bones' most recent writing video. Uh, not writing video. It was more like a, his, his coming out video. Um, but you can see me sketching out ideas on that. So we're going to do an enamel pin of a calico. Um, and obviously we're going to do a t-shirt like we've done with previous Kickstarters. We'll probably do a t-shirt and a hoodie for people to, to buy. During the Kickstarter, we tend to only do like um, apparel merch during Kickstarters because it makes ordering a lot easier. So we don't have to have like random inventory or wait until we have enough orders to make like a run of shirts. Um, so yeah, there'll, there'll be a Kickstarter exclusive because I don't want to deal with t-shirt inventory. <laughs> yeah, so those are things I'm working on. If the enamel pin goes well, we're planning to do more in the future because yeah, we just, I don't know, we want to expand our, our merch and enamel pins are really pretty and cute. And I'm curious about how this, how this goes. If it goes well, we might make more nine point themed pins or probably more LGBT themed pins as well as something we were looking at, but we're still exploring ideas and we still want to see how the manufacturing goes or how the Kickstarter goes and we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're planning to launch this thing sometime later this summer, if possible, and get issue two printed. The problem I ran into with our Kickstarter for issue one was I didn't have all the pages completed. Like I didn't have any of them really started when we ran the Kickstarter. Uh, I was still working on design work, so then there was a long time before we actually got the issue into people's hands. And that was only like 20 pages that I had to make, plus designs. And it still took like six months before we got the issue out. So I'm hoping because I have all my design work done, I've got everything thumbnailed, and I'm like almost done my pencils, I think that we'll get this thing out really quickly. I'm hoping. Um, and the 100 days challenge will really help make that happen. So, yes, I'm, I'm hoping we'll be able to ship this fairly quickly once the Kickstarter is completed, if we launch it this summer. Um, if not, we're going to launch it very, very soon. Yeah, I'm very excited. This is going to be cool. This is going to be fun. I'm excited to do videos again, like, every day, because I know recently we haven't been putting out a lot of content, which has been nice and tough. On one hand, I haven't felt, like, super connected to our channel like I have previously, just because, like, 
most of the time I'm not thinking about it because we've been busy with other stuff. Um, and then it's usually like one night a week where I'm like, oh shoot, I gotta do a video thing. Um, and we haven't been doing live streams, which is where I like really feel connected to everyone because I get to like talk to you guys and, um, and, and they're really fun. And yeah, and I just, it'll be nice to make videos every day again. It's going to be challenging, but it'll also be fun. Okay, I'm going to keep this video really short. Today's kind of busy and I want to save my words for the hundred days. Ooh, woo. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for this cover. I'm excited for the Kickstarter. I'm excited for the hundred days. Life is good. Excitement all around. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Oh, make sure that if you have any questions about comics or about Nine Point or anything, like even if it's writing or if it's drawing, whatever, leave a comment here or go on our Discord and ask your questions there because we are always looking for things to answer during the 100 days because there's a lot of topics you got to come up with to talk about. So make sure to ask your questions so we can answer them. We're also planning to do um, Q&A streams on, on Saturdays on our YouTube streams. So make sure to heckin go and check that out. <laughs> like, uh, leave us questions and we will answer them on the live stream for you to listen to or talk to us live. Um, and that will also be part of the 100 days. So leave us your questions. Okay, now I'm actually gonna go. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna miss these vlogs, I guess. I'll see you guys next time. Good luck with your own comics, fam.